This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for September 22, 2023, Dalrymple Philibert resigns as House Speaker and the South Trelawney MP. Marissa Dalrymple Philibert has resigned as a Speaker of the House of Representatives and a Member of Parliament for South Trelawney with immediate effect. The embattled House Speaker had been facing calls to step aside after the Integrity Commission ruled that she be charged in relation to false statements she made in her statutory declarations filed over the period 2015 to 2021. In a statement released on Thursday, Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert said she has spent the last two days reading the Integrity Commission's report detailing the circumstances of the omission of a motor vehicle from her statutory declaration and has taken note of the public sentiments on this issue. She noted that nowhere in the entire report has the Integrity Commission raised any question or concern about the source of funding of the vehicle, which was purchased through a loan from Sajikor Bank. Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert said the vehicle which was purchased for $6 million was never sold or transferred to anyone in the last seven years, despite there being nothing that prevented her from selling the vehicle after the three-year mandatory restriction was lifted. She maintained that the omission of the vehicle was a genuine oversight on my part, adding that there would have been no allegations against her name had she included the vehicle in her declaration, which is something she had no motive to deliberately omit. The reputational damage from the charges, as she said, has led to her immediate resignation as a both House Speaker as well as MP. Integrity Commission, we are not a blaming government for attack. The Integrity Commission has sought to clarify that it is not blaming the government following a Thursday's shooting of one of its directors. Ryan Evans, Director of Corruption Prevention, has been hospitalized after he was shot and wounded in the car park at the Commission's offices in New Kingston. He was shot in the arm and the briefcase in his possession was stolen by his attackers. In a post late Thursday to social media site X, formerly Twitter, the Integrity Commission said it will not make any comment on the shooting since it is under police investigation. Earlier on Thursday, when TVJ reporters Kirk Wright and Jamelia Midland asked the Integrity Commission's executive director, Greg Christie, for his reaction to the shooting, he had retorted, you should ask the government that, ask them what that means. Mr. Christie argued that officials of the public body have been the subject of increasing threats due to the constant criticism of the commission by the government ministers. But in its social media post, the commission sought to make it clear that neither it nor its executive director is conveying any blame on the government for the event. To the extent that this is being suggested, it is not the case, the commission said. It noted that there are a number of security-related issues that the commission has been in communication with the government about. The police say there is no suggestion that Thursday morning's shooting of the Integrity Commission director was part of a premeditated attack on the officials of the agency. According to the police, preliminary information gathered so far suggests that the motive was robbery. Wanted man turns himself in, slapped with gun charges. A 29-year-old man who was reported listed as wanted by the St. Anne's Bay Police was slapped with gun charges after turning himself in on Wednesday. He is Jovan Simpson, a lifeguard of Salt Spring, Montego Bay, St. James. Simpson is charged with wounding with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m., Simpson and a group of men were traveling in a Toyota Axio motor car, which came to a stop where a man was. Simpson alighted from the motor vehicle and fired several shots, hitting the man several times. The police were alerted and the man was taken to the hospital for treatment. During the investigation, Simpson was listed as wanted. He subsequently handed himself over to the police after he was published as being wanted. Simpson was charged after he underwent a question-and-answer session in the presence of his attorney.
His accomplices are being sought by the police. Robbery at the former Speaker's law office. The police have launched a probe into reports of a robbery at the former House Speaker Marisa Dalrymple Philibert's Trelawney office. A report was made to us that a robbery took place. Reports are that an office attendant was robbed of money and other personal items. Head of the Trelawney Police Division, Deputy Superintendent of Police Winston Milton told the news. When the news visited the law office Thursday afternoon, it was closed. Efforts to reach Dalrymple Philibert proved futile as the calls to her cell phone went unanswered. Dalrymple Philibert is a four-term member of parliament for the Trelawney Southern constituency. She resigned from that position as well as a Speaker of the House on Thursday, shortly after news broke of the robbery at her law firm. Her resignation came in the wake of mounting calls for her to step aside after the Integrity Commission ruled that she could be charged for multiple breaches of the Integrity Commission Act and the Parliament Integrity of Members Act 1973. The IC alleged that Dalrymple Philbert made a false statement in her statutory declarations over a six-year period. 73-year-old woman accused of killing husband over will offered bail. The 73-year-old woman, accused of killing her 74-year-old husband over a will in Cabbage Valley District on September 2, was offered bail when she appeared in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on Thursday. Enid Townsend was offered bail in the sum of $600,000 when she appeared before presiding judge Dion Lawrence Pivot at the parish court in Santa Cruz. Lawrence Pivot ordered that the accused open taking of the bail must be immediately transferred and admitted into a medical facility for psychiatric evaluation at a cost to her family and that she must remain there unless ordered by the court. The accused is scheduled to reappear in court on October 23, 2023. Police said the incident happened about 4 a.m. on Saturday, September 2. The accused confessed to using a hammer to strike her husband multiple times, the police reported. Police said her confession reported reveals that the incident arose from a dispute stemming from her late husband, Arthur Townsend's omission of her name from his last will and testament. The disagreement escalated, resulting in her husband allegedly slapping her, according to the police. Trelawney Labour charged the following shooting. Ori Armstrong, a 37-year-old laborer of Falmouth in Trelawney, was arrested and charged after he allegedly shot and injured his neighbor during an argument on Saturday. He has been charged with wounding with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The Falmouth police report that about 11 a.m., Armstrong and his neighbor were arguing when Armstrong went to his house and returned with a gun. He then fired several gunshots at the neighbor, injuring him in his abdomen. The neighbor escaped and was assisted by residents to the hospital where he was treated and released. A report was made to the police and Armstrong turned himself in later that day. He was charged on Wednesday, September 20 and is awaiting a court date. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.